welcome to our video lecture series, Her Music Lives. This series highlights women composers from across the world and throughout the centuries who have written songs to express their identities and life circumstances. Each video briefly introduces the composer followed by a discussion and performance of the chosen song. Connection questions and research materials are available at the end. La noche es bella y pura, brilla la luna en el cine, junto al estanque azul yo pienso en ti, yo pienso en ti. This episode in our video lecture series, Her Music Lives, features the Spanish composer and writer Maria Luisa Ponza who published her works under the pseudonym M.L. Dorset. This beautiful song, Nuit Bleu, is subtitled Valse L'Enchanté, which means slowly sung waltz, and Nuit Bleu means blue night. It was originally published with both French and Spanish lyrics, and today I'm going to sing the Spanish lyrics or Noche Azul. Maria Luisa Ponza was a child prodigy who was sent off from her home in Barcelona at the young age of seven to study composition in Paris. She returned to her home in Barcelona at age 17 to give concerts and to open a school for underprivileged children to learn music. Maria Luisa Ponza was not a life-changing composer as far as I can tell. She was simply a solid, clear composer whose music reflected her generous heart and her sense of beauty. Before you hear a complete performance of the song, we are going to highlight some of the elements that we as performers enjoy. Susan, what do you find interesting in the vocal part? Well, one thing I feel is genius about this piece is the exquisitely beautiful yet simple melody. But do not let that simplicity fool you. This piece covers a pitch range of an octave and a fifth and a dynamic range from pianissimo to fortissimo, which is very quiet to very loud. It's also notable that she wrote in the minor mode during a time when minor was a bit unseemly for refined women in that it depicted sadness or something unpleasant. In this case, it represents a melancholy sense of longing for past love. Writing melody seems to be a lost art today and we can learn so much from Ms. Ponce about how the melody itself can express the text. One way she expresses longing is by her use of the harmonic minor scale. This gives the music a very exotic sound. Can you demonstrate, Catherine? Thank you. In fact, Spanish music was considered exotic by Western composers of the time because Spanish composers were relatively new in the musical canon. In this very simple and sweet song about love lost, Ms. Ponce dares to write in her own voice, reflecting her own culture and aesthetic sense of beauty and dare I say, even passion. So Catherine, what do you enjoy about the piano part? The piano mirrors the voice part in the right hand octaves, making it possible for the pianist to play the piece without a singer and enjoy the melodic and musical attributes. The song has a triple meter which correlates with the waltz title. The minor tonality that Susan just referenced in the first section gives the song a sort of suave and seductive sound. Listen to the left hand motif with a triplet figure that punctuates the phrases. The wave-like rise and fall to the melodic line makes it very expressive as each phrase ends on the dominant harmony, which is resolved at the beginning of the next phrase. The subsequent sections are in contrasting major tonalities and follow the same pattern of phrases ending on the dominant harmony, which sort of gives a little bit of tension um, that needs to be resolved. These sections emphasize the waltz characteristics with some umpapa patterns incorporated in the right hand. Now we will perform Maria Luisa Ponza's Noche Azul. Yo 
Okay, now that you've heard the song, what are your thoughts and connections to Noche Azul? Here's a connection question to get you started. Does the music seem to complement or fit with the lyrics? When different lyrics are applied to the same melody in the second verse, do they still seem to fit? Or after reading the lyrics, would you have imagined the music to have had a different sound? Maybe you might want to make other connections or research Maria Luisa Ponza. Please review the other connection questions and the resources at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Una noche 